It is summer, we are quarantining, we are barbecuing, and we're talking about Modalist, a Shopify dropshipping app. Welcome! My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. In this channel, we review Shopify apps with the goal that you see the app before you install it. Why? When you install the app, it adds codes to your website, which slows it down. Even if you uninstall it after, sometimes the code stays on your website. So that's why you make sure to check out all the videos of the apps that we did before you install them. This week we are looking at Modalist. It's a dropshipping app and dropshipping is getting hugely popular again. So Modalist has a 4.5 out of 5 reviews, but we'll see that in the facts corner all the way down here, or maybe we we'll change it to down here. What's really interesting about Modalist is that it's an official partner of AliExpress dropshipping. So that's quite interesting so let's install it let's go through all of these sections as usual timestamp down below and let's get going all right we finished the installation and the first thing that is asked for is to log in so because we don't have an account yet we will create it um, once that's done we are on the dashboard there is a navigation to the left with the options to find products on which we are currently um, my dropshipping, so that's the import list, sync list, pricing rules, and archive list. Modal list orders, the pending paid and shipped orders. Extension orders, the pending paid and shipped. Inbox settings to connect your store, connect AliExpress, manage your plan and edit shipped inbox. And of course the help center. You can also find their blog down here and pages on the social network like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As you can see up here is a recommended checklist. If you didn't connect your Shopify store, you should absolutely do that first. All right, let's take a look at products. Here are the categories and wow, wow. That, that's a lot of products right here. Uh, I think we can conclude that products are also very thoroughly arranged because every category has products. Um, so products can be searched by categories, supplier, shipping, and price. You can sort them by most relevant, bestsellers, most recently added, and items cost. So let's keep it by most relevant. So let's, um, let's say I want to search for some home goods. So I'm going to type in home goods in the search tab right now. Uh, and before we take a look at the products below, there are four more options. Add more items from AliExpress is the first, but it says you must have the modalist chrome extension installed to import items directly from aliexpress okay so this is if you see some items on aliexpress that you like uh, but they're not in this list for some reason you can do it through here okay okay i get it next to it is kind of cool there's a section here undisrupted suppliers during covid 19 and then we also have usa supplying and private label drop shipping okay that's pretty cool all right the products are here and the list is not too big. I expected a little bit more, but all right, I guess I can still import them through the Chrome extension. Uh, product images are not that beautiful, so you'll probably want to take your own pictures of the product. As you can see, the most striking thing is the price. That's the first thing I saw, but let's see what else is written in the description. Uh, on the top, it's pointed out whether the product is from AliExpress or an independent brand. Uh, below that, there is the name of the product and a small description. And then we have the number of products in stock, the price, and of course the shipping price in the middle. And the list of countries where it ships. And then in the bottom right here, there is add to import list button. So let's click on the product to see more. And obviously we are in a new page now. And here we can see pretty much... Just the same as before, but below is a detailed description, variants, shipping, and returns. And that's it. That's about all the information we get. Okay, this is a crucial moment. It's time to test la vitesse. All right, time for the speed test. So you can do this for free for your own store or even your competitor's stores at www.testmystorespeed.com. But okay, let's analyze all the pages with this tool. We have already had the results of our store before we installed the app, so it's easy for us to compare in the history section right here. Uh, although we're doing the test on the tool right here, I doubt that uh, we'll see any difference because this is an app that mostly engages with your backend and your clients don't really realize it. And as you can see, sure, there is a slight difference in loading time, but that's just because of loading time differs. 
um, depending on the time of the day that you're testing. So that's not really different. Uh, we see the number of requests is the same. And then um, the, page, the page size has increased a little, which is curious, but um, all right. All right, but you want to get served, so let's check out the next section. So the customer support is available via live chat and email seven days a week. Uh, we sent them a message and they answered within half an hour, which is okay. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, welcome to the facts corner with my buddy the plant. I changed the name so often I forgot the name of the plant. So let's look at the facts of this app. First of all, there's pricing. How much does it cost? Well, actually, it's free up to 25 products. After that, you have the startup plan, which is $35 a month. Uh, and you have up to 250 products with that. And then you have the pro plan, which is uh, unlimited number of products for $90 a month. So that's a pretty interesting pricing strategy. So if we talk competitors, what other dropshipping apps are there out there? We have New Order. We have Jor. We have Le New Black. Le New Black, that's a cool name. We have Fashion Trade, we have Spocket that we reviewed and is actually our most viewed video, and we have Balloon. But as always, it's important to look for apps at what does it integrate with, because it needs to speak with your entire ecosystem, not just do one thing. And so it integrates with Kit, the concierge app by Shopify, it integrates by name brands, and it integrates obviously with AliExpress. So let's look at the rating real quick. We have a 4.5, 4.0 out of 5 rating. Uh, it's based on 643 reviews. So let's look at the drop down. It kind of looks like this. And as always, we're going to do a quick zoom in on the one stars. We're going to overlay them here. So maybe you see some points. Some points got addressed in our videos. You can pause it. Maybe some points are specific to you. So take a look at it. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to check out the other dropshipping apps like Spocket that will play right after this. Thank you so much. Make sure to test out your speed store as well at testmyspeedstore.com. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and I'll see you in the next video.